welcome to The Test of Time, a show where we dive into the horror movies you loved growing up and determine if they still hold up today. I'm Nick, and in this episode we'll be taking a look at The Lost Boys, which for my money is the greatest vampire movie ever made. I just moved to a new house and I haven't found a place to hang this yet. Above the bed, probably. Released in 1987, The Lost Boys stars early Kiefer Sutherland, the two Corys, the guy from Speed 2, Bill Paxton's girlfriend and Twister. I gotta go, Julia, we got cows! It also stars Bill S. Preston Esquire, the mom from Edward Scissorhands, grandpa from the Gilmore Girls, and Jameson Newlander. Obviously, I'm a fan of this movie, as are many of you, I assume, if you're watching this video, because why else would you have clicked on it? But, just in case you haven't, Allow me to read you the synopsis off the back of the VHS box. Sam and Michael are all-American teens with all-American interests. Sam likes comic books. Michael likes girls. But after they move with their mother to peaceful Santa Carla, California, their relationship mysteriously begins to change. Sam still likes comic books. Michael now likes ghouls. <laughs> Just wait till mom finds out. My own brother, a goddamn shit sucking vampire. Will you wait till mom finds out, buddy? So the question is, does The Lost Boys still hold up today? And that, well, that's tough for me to answer. Because honestly, I, I feel like the only way to really determine if a modern audience would still enjoy the movie is to find somebody who's never seen it. And I've seen it like a hundred and seventy four times. That's a guess. I didn't actually count. You have never seen The Lost Boys, correct? That is correct. Okay. The only thing I know about it is something about a train? There is a train. Some sort of train scene where they're like on a bridge or something like that. All right. Yeah, I'll gladly watch a movie. Do we got popcorn? No. Oh. Okay, right off the bat. The music in this movie is great. Honestly, I believe the soundtrack is a big reason why The Lost Boys still has such a cult following today. But YouTube is kind of tricky when it comes to stuff like that, so probably shouldn't include too much Cry Little Sister in the video. I will include this song though, because it's part of the best scene in the entire movie. Timeless. Believe it or not, this guy's legal name is not Sexy Saxman. It's Tim Capello. He's an actual musician who used to perform with Tina Turner, and he still goes on tour today. Do you think he still like lathers himself up in the oil and the chains? I believe that he does actually. Wow! He actually did sign this and mail it to me for this video. I mean, I paid for it, but. Notice anything unusual? about Santa Carla yet? No, it's a pretty cool place. If you're a Martian. Or a vampire. I don't know why, but that whole scene seemed almost sensual. It was very, they're like, you could cut the sexual tension with a knife. <laughs> the comic book scene? Yeah, but just the two boys staring at each other from across the comic book store. Oh, the, those two, they were brothers. Oh, okay. We're fighters for truth, justice, and the American way. Right. This movie has been described as sexy well, there you many go. times, specifically by the director. The Lost Boys was directed by Joel Schumacher of Batman and Robin fame. Well, no, not at that point. It would have been St. Elmo's Fire fame, which is nothing like Batman and Robin. Originally, Richard Donner, who did The Goonies, was going to direct. <laughs> the Lost Boys started off as a completely different movie. It was going to star much younger kids, and apparently it had a very Goonies vibe to it. I'm getting the big Goonies vibe right now. Donner ended up leaving to go direct Lethal Weapon, and it was Schumacher who said, why can't the vampires be teenagers? And sexy. Also, apparently Ben Stiller was almost cast as one of these guys. Maggots, Michael. You're eating maggots, how do they taste? On the surface, yes. The Lost Boys is a movie about a dude who is tricked into almost eating maggots and worms, before drinking vampire blood, thus sending his brother on a quest to hunt down and kill the head vampire in order to save him. Mom, I can't talk about it on the phone, it's about Michael. Don't listen to him, Mom, he doesn't know what he's saying. But a big part of what makes this movie work is what's underneath. It's about a family struggling to start over after losing everything. You gotta kill me! I feel like if I found out that my sibling was a vampire, 
um, I'd be a little bit more freaked out than just, I'm going to call mom. Well, yeah, but if this is a comedy, horror comedy. Is it a comedy? Open the window! Never! I knew it! I am not! So where are you? The flying nun! Another big reason why this movie succeeded where, in my opinion, a lot of horror movies fail is because it doesn't take itself too serious. Between Grandpa and the Frog Brothers, who take themselves very serious... Kill your brother. You'll feel better. There are a lot of genuinely funny moments in this movie. Boy, somebody around here has bad breath. Now, let's get into the horror aspect. Would it hold up to today's standards? I don't, well, probably not. I think horror right now is better than it's been in years. Maybe ever. That doesn't mean The Lost Boys doesn't have scary moments. Even 30 plus years later, the effects still hold up. Good night, blood sucker. No! Ah! Terrifying. You did me! What was I going to say? Something about the Lost Boys. I forget. Was it about the hand that was catching on fire? No, I don't think so. And how he cried that one tear? That was good acting. I think that was real. That was real? I think so. But now let's talk about some things that maybe don't hold up so well. Because no movie's perfect. Except Forrest Gump. The hair definitely, those outfits are not holding up today. It's true, the 80s didn't do any favors when it comes to hair and fashion. The Lost Boys is a perfect example of that. Just scope in your civilian wardrobe. Pretty cool, huh? For a fashion victim. But I don't know, I think that's part of the charm of the movie. It's 80s nostalgia at its finest. I'm Michael. Mike. Michael's great, I like Michael. Apparently the name Michael is said like a hundred and something times in this movie. Michael. 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 Mike. Michael. 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 They say his name a lot. Michael! Your creature of the night, Michael. So, can a modern audience still enjoy the movie? I think this movie would definitely hold up, especially with the younger, I will say tweens. You think if a tween were to watch this today, mm -hmm. they would still enjoy it? I think it's it's gonna be a specific kind of tween. It's gonna have to be some of the cooler, nerdy tweens. Death by stereo. But I guess I should just take it for what it is as a fun kind of comedy family action adventure with vampires. Hmm. Definitely not like the description on the box. One thing about living in Santa Carla, I never could stomach. All the damn vampires. My verdict? A very biased yes. The Lost Boys still holds up to the test of time. Thank you for watching. My name is Nick, and I will see you next time. If there is a next time, I have no idea.